All right, my name is Michael Lovato, and you're watching TriRig.com. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, today we're at uh, Amanda in my place, and we wanted to give you a little tour of our garage. So come on in. We'll just give you a little tour. This is our garage, obviously the storage, storage place for all our um, bikes and the equipment, um, but also it's our nutrition stuff, our shoes, and we make it our training facility as well. So this winter we, we roughed it here in Boulder, and we decided that we're gonna do a bunch of indoor training. So it's now our training facility as well as our, our, um, our storage unit. So here, naturally, this is our, our, our all-important uh, first endurance tower of goodies, as well as the Brooks, um, the Brooks shoes. We keep those, so we're always ready. Don't like to run out. This is my current <laughs> rotation. I've got a few shoes going that I like to, to run in. Uh, we keep the women's shoes over here, so Amanda's shoes and boots on this side. Um, but as we look back, you know, it's your basic garage. I try and keep it clean. It was pretty rough uh, for a few years there, but organize it out and. A couple bikes that we're riding right now, Kessler 4000s. Of course, the man and I have those um, ready to roll. We just came back from a race and uh, they're nice and pretty right now from uh, post-race cleaning. We've got Kessler road bikes, RT1000, as well as a couple of Fuji mountain bikes. Uh, the folks at ASI are good enough to give us Fujis since they don't make a Kessler mountain bike. Those are really fun. We get those in the off season. And um, down here, lots of spares, zip tires, zip tubes, and uh, otherwise just the accessories that you you don't like to run out of. So thankfully, we work with a shop in Jack and Adams, and, and they're um, they send us a bunch of good stuff. So I always have tubes and CO2s. I hate running out of that stuff. Um, over here, this is my little cave of zip wheels, and I like to keep them organized. But uh, sometimes I lose the battle. A lot of race wheels in there. Um, I used to have them all marked up, but uh, the labels fell off. So it's basically just all our race wheels. We got the discs, we got the 808s, we got everything in there, as well as a couple of spare training wheels. Um, and then look into obviously the workbench. I do a lot of work there. Actually, I don't. I try and take my bike somewhere. Um, but I am capable. Sometimes crank out a few things there, change a cassette, and then as we scroll to the to the other side of the garage, I've got naturally I've got shoes, helmets. Uh, Louis Garneau does some fun custom work with us. We like to coordinate our helmets. So if we have a different outfit, we may pull on a different helmet. It's kind of dorky, but you know you gotta be a little dorky in this world. Um, so, and then over here, it's the, it's the aforementioned training zone. So we keep these bikes set up all the time, and these are brand new, you know, 2012 bikes, but we have them dialed into our position, always set up. So if it does start, uh, start to rain or, or weather turns foul, you can jump right on. Um, and then uh, obviously we run the Cyclops Power Beam Pro, and you can really dial in a mean workout with those. Um, in fact, I've been screaming a lot lately at myself and at the garage and at the trainer because these workouts have been whooping my butt, uh, just getting ready for Kona. And then the holy grail of indoor triathlon training, indoor running, is the Woodway treadmill. It's, a, it's an amazing machine. It's like running outside, it's awesome. We do have a beer fridge. It seldom gets opened, it's blocked by the shoes, but in the off season that thing may have a few more in it. Uh, not big drinkers, but obviously you gotta have a beer fridge. So that's about it. Yeah, this is our garage. Come on by sometime and we'll do a little training session here. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.